Hello everybody, welcome back to our Eden Space Nerd video, and today we're going to be talking about the Minotaur 2 Plus launch that happened uh, just uh, Thursday, uh, um, the 7th of um, uh, July. Uh, it actually exploded 11 seconds, seconds after liftoff from a Vandenberg Air Force Base in California, uh, launching from um, test pad uh, uh, 01. Uh, the, te the test launch was... Uh, uh, launched by Minotaur 2, which hasn't launched since 2008, actually. Uh, this launch was um, uh, testing out a re-entry vehicle. Not really a vehicle, kind of like a, some sort of object, <laughs> whatever. Uh, called the MK-21A. And yes, that um, uh, re-entry vehicle was lost in the explosion 11 sec seconds after liftoff. And um, the, f uh, the explosion did cause a fire. Uh, on the pad, but it was, uh, it was, um, hosed down by, um, the, uh, emergency, uh, personnel at Vandenberg, and uh, no people were injured or killed in the accident, and, uh, yeah, so, um, we're just gonna leave you here with, uh, some of the, uh, news, uh, videos of it. This just in, an unarmed rocket launched from Vandenberg Space Force Base last night exploded just seconds after lifting off. Vandenberg Space Force Base officials say they are looking into what caused the rocket to explode. KSBY's Erin Fay has been following the latest developments and she joins us live from the newsroom and has more on what happened. Erin? Good morning, Neil. The Space Force officials say the Minotaur 2 Plus rocket exploded approximately 11 seconds after the 1101 liftoff from Test Pad 1. Several people on social media reported hearing the explosion, but the base had not given a specific time for the launch, so it was not immediately clear what happened. Vandenberg says no one was injured and that the debris was confined to the launch pad area on the end of Rhea Road on the base. However, the explosion sparked a fire on the northern part of the base that was producing smoke into the early morning hours. The launch was scheduled to be the first test supporting development of the new MK-21A re-entry vehicle for the Air Force. Prior to the launch, officials said the re-entry vehicle would be used on a ballistic missile, described as being not just new, but quote, a fully integrated launch, flight and infrastructure system with modern command and control features. Both are being developed by the Air Force Nuclear Weapons Center. Among other things, Vandenberg said the launch was planned to help demonstrate early design concepts in operationally realistic environments. Base officials said smoke from the fire was not an immediate danger to other parts of the base. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure to subscribe to the channel and subscribe to the second channel where we post other content and do live streams. And I forgot to say in this video, but the Minotaur 2 launched at 11.01 p.m. Pacific time. There has not been a video of the a failure yet, but hopefully there is soon, and if there is, I'll post it on my main channel, which is what you're watching this on, so bye.